hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you guys how i make this basic simple face moisturizer or cream whatever you want to call it with just a couple of ingredients now i would like to apologize in advance because i just got over covid and i still have some of the symptoms so my voice will be a little off and i will sound stuffy here and there so i want to apologize in advance but to start off, I like to start off with my oil phase so I could go ahead and get everything melted down because that will be the phase that typically takes the longest to melt down. So I will be starting off with Lotion Pro 165, which is our emulsifying agent. And it usually typically creates a more fluffier lotion. And I am going to go in with some acetyl alcohol. It's a fatty alcohol and it's going to act as my thickener in this formulation and for my oil of choice i'm only using one oil to start because i am a beginner at creating stuff for the face i find this to be the perfect beginner oil for a facial product because it's non-comedogenic comedogenic i hate that word i really don't know how to pronounce it and it helps reduce acne and it alleviates dry skin it just rich in vitamin e it's just full of great benefits all around now moving along to the water phase we're just going to be adding our water and i am going to finish topping it off with my pipette because i don't want to go over and after that i will be going in with olive vera juice it helps regenerate cells and it's moisturizing we're going to add about 10 grams of that I am making a 100 gram batch in this video, but I did go back and make a 200 gram batch because I liked it that much. But right here, I'm just going in with some glycerin and we all know glycerin is a great humectant. It also has other good benefits, but I'm primarily using it for the humectant properties. And I, after that, I am going in with some DL Panthenol with transverse to pro vitamin B5 as soon as it comes in contact with the skin or absorbs into the skin. It also soothes irritated skin and helps with inflammation. It acts as a humectant as well, along with the glycerin. Before you heat your water phase, make sure you weigh the whole jar and write down the weight of it somewhere. So that way when the water evaporates, whenever you heat it up, you know how much to replace it with. And that is what I'm doing in this clip that is kind of crucial in lotion making in my opinion. So I make sure I show it in every video that I put out whenever I'm making a lotion or an emulsion. But after that, you just pour the water phase into the oil phase. That's the easiest way for me because water slides out more easier than oil. And we just stick blend immediately. Now I do stick blend for about three to five minutes, especially for a small batch like this. And I come back periodically as it's cooling down to make sure there's no separation going on or and to make sure that it's still stable. You know, it's not separating. The phases are separating. And I do stick blend like maybe every couple minutes or so that I walk past it. Now for our cool down face, I am going to be going in with vitamin E to prolong the ingredients and stop it from going rancid so fast, you know, you know, just to help prolong the shelf life. And after that, I will be going in with the cucumber hydrosol, which everybody knows it soothes the skin. It's an estrogen and it reduces inflammation. And I didn't want to 
mess the properties up by heating that up so i included that in my cool down phase and i am just going to i could have honestly just mixed it up which i realized afterwards that's why i got rid of the stick blender in the middle of it and i just mixed it up by hand After that, I went in with my preservative and I did cut the tip of my pipette because working with Liquid Dermal Plus, it is hella thick and hard to get into the pipette and out of it. So I like to cut it. That way it's easier for me and it saves me time. Now I'm just going to give everything a mix one good last time. And this product came out like super white and super bright you know like oh my gosh but i'm just gonna package everything up the first way i show you guys in this video do not do that i don't know why i did that i was just ready to bottle it up you know How do you guys put the label on y'all bottles, on y'all packaging so like perfectly? Because I struggle with that. Like, did y'all see that? I was like, it's definitely horrendous and I need some pointers and some tips or something because this is unacceptable. The application of this is so moisturizing. This is like the perfect everyday face cream for day and night it sinks into the skin like sinks into the skin does not sit on top of it like oh my gosh I love this stuff but you know I just wanted to come up with something and dip my feet into the facial product DIYs you know you know because I'm used to doing body and hair but this came out bomb so y'all should try it it'll save y'all some money but yeah you guys I will see you guys in the next video it will either be the body scrub series part two or me showing you guys how to formulate because somebody did comment and asked me to break down how do you come up with percentages and I was going to include it in this video, but it was too long, so I'm going to make it into a whole separate video, and I will see you guys whenever I see you, to be honest.